Repentance is death. It is not the born-again experience. It's good. We need to repent. Many people sometimes get the Holy Ghost very, very easily, and they haven't really weighed the cost and repented of a lot of things, and that's why they struggle. And on the other hand, many people lead a person in a, a sinner's prayer and told them they're all set, and they also struggle because they never got the power to live and overcome sin. Repentance is death. That's not the born again. Repentance is death. Okay, repeating myself. The sinner's prayer, okay, is a start, and it's good, but that isn't salvation. It is death. You believe the gospel and you accept the complete work of the cross and the lordship of Jesus over your life. I deny Kuan Yin, I deny Buddha, I deny my money, myself, whatever that I put my faith and trust in. By the way, whatever you put your faith and trust in more than the Lord Jesus Christ is your idol. Whatever you love and adore and spend more time with than the Lord Jesus Christ could be your idol. I denounce all these things, and I believe the gospel, and what you did on the cross for me, I put myself under your lordship, and I will follow you. I'm dead to all these other things that are wrong and not good. I changed my mind. I don't want to be a sinner with a death sentence on me. I want the life that you offer me and the power in my life to overcome the sin as you have promised me. So you die in repentance so you can be, the Bible way, born again of water and spirit, not born again of repentance. That's the death. Then you are born again of water and spirit after you repent. Works all together, can be all in an hour. It <laughs> doesn't take long. But repentance is repentance. Baptism is baptism. Receiving the Holy Spirit is receiving the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38, again, the birthday of the church, they told him to repent. Acts 3.19, repent, turn again. Right now, just dealing with repentance. Okay. Um, up to you. Would you want me to do one more or... It's 9.35, if your computer is right. Okay. We can stop. Up to you. Okay. We'll stop here, continue with 6 uh, tomorrow night, dealing with baptism. And we'll deal with baptism in this way. We'll deal with it that it is essential. We'll deal with it that it is done by evoking the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that it is done by immersion, and that it is for everybody. So we'll touch on all of those kind of things. Okay. Why don't we stand? Hope it's not too much. No. Nope. It is basic. <laughs> but just moving along. <laughs> okay. So I encourage you, this is going to be today, tomorrow, and the next day. But I'm hoping to finish this tomorrow. Then if not, it'll have to be Wednesday, and I'll have to leave the, the PowerPoint for what I was going to do on Wednesday. I can leave it with Pastor Timothy, and he can do it if I don't finish, because I would want to first finish this. Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, whatever. That sounds good. I'll just talk faster. <laughs> Actually, this was only 177. You left me alone this afternoon, and it got to be 180. <laughs> Tomorrow, it might be 190. <laughs> so, we'll close in prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I just pray you honor your word, Lord Jesus. It's not me, Lord God. It's not what I say, Lord God. It's what your word teaches us, Lord God. It's what your word says, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that you put rima upon your word, that your word is clear and understandable to the ears that are hearing it, Lord God, that they can hear and perceive what it is you meant your word to be, because your word is not of any private interpretation, Lord God. Your word is what you meant it to be. There is only one gospel, only one way to be saved, Lord God. 
Lord, we want to be a people that are founded on your word. We want to be a people that stand for truth, Lord God. We want to be a people that can be used by your mighty hand, Lord God, to promote truth, Lord God, that other people can be won into your kingdom, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We just love you, Lord. We thank you for truth, Lord God. Lord, if there's people here today, Lord God, that didn't understand some things that we already talked about and now do, Lord, we thank you for that, Lord God. Let there be revelation upon your word, Lord God. Let there be truth established in the hearts of those that are here today, Lord God, where they can be confident in the things that they believe, Lord Jesus, not because of man, but because of your word and your spirit. Let your spirit confirm in their hearts every word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Okay. You will be dismissed. See you again tomorrow night, 730.